You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. CNA Heroes has been on hiatus as we've all struggled to find our new normal among working from home and physical distancing. But don't think for one second that just because new episodes weren't filmed, that CNA Heroes haven't been born these last couple of months. COVID-19 has come for our residents, those we care for, those we serve, those we love, and CNAs are fighting back. As of the most recent data available, states indicate that cases have occurred at more than 4,000 facilities with nearly 51,000 cases and over 10,000 deaths reported due to COVID. Sadly, Nursing homes were not required and did not report resident and staff deaths in the beginning of this pandemic. So with lack of access to testing and failure and inconsistencies in reporting, these numbers are most likely much higher. Information is so inconsistent and fragmented from one state to another, making it difficult to get numbers of healthcare staff who die of COVID-19 especially those who work in long-term care. I recently watched a news interview with a very angry nurse who worked in the hospital. The reporter called her a hero. With great fury in her voice, she said, don't call me a hero, I'm a forced martyr. And in my opinion, she had it all wrong. No one in healthcare is forced to work in these difficult times. Leaving the job or the profession is always an option on the table, and that is an individual choice that is up to the CNA or the nurse. It does not come without hardship, but we are not forced. And we're not martyrs. We are not victims, and we're not being sacrificed. We are following our calling. Her statement was very disappointing to me. I'm hearing from hundreds of CNAs who say differently. CNAs who are working without appropriate personal protective equipment, or PPE. CNAs who are working without enough coworkers, without COVID testing to even determine which residents have the virus. They are heroes. Yes, we want more PPE. We want more supported wages. We want more coworkers on the team. But until that happens, CNAs are the lifeblood of the nursing homes, showing up to work and doing their best despite being criticized in the media and by the regulating bodies of CMS and CDC for their lacking infection control processes, even without proper equipment. And we're being villainized now by the trial attorneys in television commercials who are inquiring about nursing home deaths due to COVID-19. Now is not the time for shame or blame. Now more than ever is the time to step up and support CNAs who work in nursing homes, assisted living, home health, and hospice. CNAs are more than willing to take on COVID-19, also known as the beast. Can't the rest of us do our part and offer love, support, and resources. Today's CNA heroes are all those CNAs who are going to work and doing everything they can to keep the residents healthy, safe, and feeling loved. To those CNAs, I am so sorry that we as a society have let you down not recognizing your efforts and subjecting you to criticism and allowing you to work without proper protection and supplies in many cases. You do not go unnoticed here at NACA and among the NACA extended family. 
Be kind to yourself and stay strong. Everyone, please join me today in honoring the CNAs around the globe who are carrying the sick, the frail, and the elderly through this COVID pandemic. You are all heroes. Thank you for your service. Thank you.